One of the most common questions I get asked is, you know, how do I start day trading? So what me and my mentor Bao did for our viewers on YouTube is create a free mentorship course that reveals our 12 secrets that every single brand new day trader should know before they get started. But please take note that there is limited seating every single week. So please reserve your spot at myinvestingclub.co. The link is in the description. Yo, what's up guys? It's Harry Haas here. And today I'm just going to be kind of doing another weekly recap. Um, I'm going to be talking about kind of my take on the state of the market. I'm going to do kind of like a little rant on that. And I'm also going to kind of go over some trades from the last previous week, uh, which is actually trading pretty similar to how the market has been trading this week. Um, we've already saw Monday and Tuesday. It's been kind of, you know, uh, pretty, pretty choppy, a bit kind of slower. Um, maybe not what we have been kind of used to in the previous months. Um, things have been running, but maybe they've been a bit harder to catch. Um, they've been a bit less predictable. So I'm going to be kind of getting into all of those topics. Um, and uh, yeah, let's get into it. So I guess my rant was kind of like on the current market state. I think in this kind of market, it's really, really, really easy to be forcing trades, especially as a long trader. Um, you know, there have been a lot of messages that I've been getting um, from a lot of people that have just been trying to force and they've been trying to trade setups that aren't there. Um, they've been trying to to do things that, you know, they they might not normally do and take trades that they might not normally take because, you know, again, um, they just want to be, you know, consistent. They want to be green. They want to be making money, but those setups might not be there. And today's a perfect ex perfect example, right? You know, it's Tuesday. Um, really kind of for me, a bit slower pre-market. Um, we didn't really get anything really running. Um, a lot of kind of broken star stocks that were just kind of, you know, choppy and just moving around. And for me, you know, I knew that it wasn't an ideal environment for me. You know, I really thrive when we have things really running. Um, when we have one kind of concentrated hot chick, when the attention is not spread out everywhere. And to me this morning, I just saw that we weren't really getting that. Um, you know, three weeks ago, we had those PRs when they would come out and the stocks would just kind of pop and then drop and pop and then drop. And then we kind of got a runner and it picked up for a little bit. And then now we seem to be back to this kind of choppiness every single day. And that's fine. That's great. You know, and I say this a lot where I am perfectly fine just sitting it out for a little bit. Because I know that when my market comes, I'm able to really hit with size and appropriately. And that has been kind of a big learning curve for me. Because I think as a long trader, you know, now I, I mean, I have been kind of blessed over the last like, uh, year or so where every day I've been getting a good trade every single day. And, and people are like, Oh man, Harry, like good job, good trade, you know, and I don't really post my trades for that, but Hey guys, my name is Tosh Bradley. I'm one of the head mentors and moderators at my investing club. If you have any questions about getting started in trading, getting started in MIC, MIC in general, text me at 213-458-5997. This is not a robot. It is me directly on the other end of my business line and uh, we'll get you in the club. We also have special promotions going on that I can get to you depending on your trading needs. Hit me up. Back to the video. You know, I, 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 I was, I was getting really good trades. People were like, wow, you're getting like a dollar to a share. And now it seems that that has kind of been slowing down just a little bit. You know, I'm not going to say that it's slowed down a lot. Um, you're going to see my trades from last week, but this week so far, it has been a bit, you know, it's been kind of a slower start to the week. And again, I'm not mad about it. It's a holiday week, but just know that, you know, if, if you're going to kind of trade this market, um, you have to be prepared to sit it out for a little bit and you have to be prepared whatever side you're on, right? We saw in the COVID market when things were running, things were going crazy. People were blowing up all over the place. They were trying to, you know, do what, what worked six months ago. They weren't adapting. Everything was going all over. I think for me, the real kind of adaptation that I personally have had is that I've just been way more patient. Um, and it's a bit higher patience than what was required before. 
before, um, you know, you could get away with a little FOMO trade here and there. Maybe, maybe even three months ago, you could get away. And I would say in my videos, when I went over them in the recap, I am getting away with a bit of a FOMO trade here. And um, I guess, I don't know, for me, um, I've really had to say to myself, like, those need to be eliminated. Like, there is no room for those anymore now. Um, and it's really just saying, okay, like, what are the best possible setups that I can trade, right? And what I've been kind of noticing is that, you know, first bounce has been working, but we haven't really been getting a lot of meat. What I've been noticing is that we've been getting a lot of these kind of fake broken stocks running, and then they squeeze everyone out, they stuff, they go back to where they came from and fade, or maybe they pick up kind of later in the day, like after zombie or sometime in the afternoon. But I mean, I don't want to hang around for that, right? Like, I just love to trade the morning. I'm not really into trading the afternoon. I find it's like really choppy. Um, I find it's kind of really algo -y. I find we're getting a lot of swipes. And, you know, also, I don't really feel like longing into bow short positions on the backside, to be, you know, quite frankly, you know. So, I mean, for me, I love, I love the morning. And what we've been kind of seeing is like a bit choppier pre-market. I mean, still not that much follow through. So we're getting a bit choppier pre-market. We're not really getting that much follow through. And it's really been kind of a nail and bail choppy market. And so how I've kind of been going about trading this is I've been saying, okay, I really do not want to be first, right? That is my main, main, main goal. I just do not want to be first. So how can I kind of go about that, that kind of mindset, right? Well, automatically, number one, I see a stock pop up on my screen, right? Let's say ABC pops up on my screen. Immediately, I get very, very defensive. And Austin has talked about this, I believe, in his webinars as well where we kind of have this defensive mindset, both of us have, where we see something and automatically, you know, for Austin, it's him, he's able to just lock up his level two super quick. And he's like, all right, I put a lock on it. And in order to remove this lock, it needs to do this, 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 and this, right? And for me, um, I don't really have the luxury of that lock. But what I kind of do is I say, okay, I'm going to give this some time, right? So you can say to yourself, you can put a timer on your phone. I'm going to give this five minutes. I'm going to give this five minutes. I'm not going to jump in right away. I'm not going to make stupid emotional decisions. I'm going to give this five or 10 minutes, right? And I think what you'll see is that we're also kind of in a market where there's a lot of short sellers that are really timid, right? They've seen what has happened before. They're not really um, going in to try and take those front side short seller trades, right? We're seeing a lot of very patient short sellers, right? In this kind of market, what I've been kind of seeing, right? No one's really confident on either side. We're getting a lot of shorts that are like, eh, I really don't want to get squeezed out now. I've been squeezed out on some previous runners. I don't want to get squeezed. We're seeing a lot of longs who, um, you know, are selling into every pop and we're not really getting that much follow through. Thank you so much for watching our video. If you want to see more of our videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking the button here. We do our best to post a new video every single day. If you have any questions about MIC or any general trading questions, please text Tosh using the number here. Also, stay up to date by watching some of our most recent videos right over here.